And here's the fixed double bed motorhome of the year. It's from Rapido, who've won this category before. And this 650 FF is from their six series, the entry level lineup. FF means it's 4-4, so it's got a drop down double bed at the front. But let's have a look and see what else you get for your money. About 49 grand is a starting price in this case. Now, Rapido offer quite a nice choice of fabrics for the lounge, and they also give you two uh, different furniture finishes. This Montalcino, which is definitely the more modern look, or you can go for the more classical elegance. But whichever you choose, whatever colour scheme you go for, Rapido's still have a very nice, uh, comfortable feel about their lounge areas. They, they somehow feel quite inviting and homely. And in this vehicle, you've got some nice touches too. This one's got the camera pack, which gives you this double-din Pioneer unit, which uh, shows the, the view to the back when you're reversing. And in that option for only £655, you also get the fly screen on the door and the cab blind. So it's a good value option. But what's really, really different about this vehicle is it's only 6.69 metres long, so it's nice and compact, um, easy to manoeuvre, but it's got five travel seats and you could potentially sleep up to five people. Now certainly comfortably four because it's got fixed double bed at the back and this drop down bed over the lounge. You can also make a single bed across from the lounge seats themselves and this inward facing seat converts to be a forward facing seat with a head restraint when, you, when you're on the road. Now the other two belted seats are on this uh, classical half dinette L-shaped unit here and Rapido have lowered the backrest on all their 2016 models to give a more open, more through view into the van which definitely increases the feeling of space, especially in a relatively compact model like this. Now of course the downside of that if you reduce the backrest seat height, rear passengers may be exposed to, to head injuries in an accident. So they've solved that with these more automotive style pop-up head restraints. So that's a really nice touch. It solves both aspects in one go. Now this isn't the biggest of kitchens, but it does pack in a lot. And remember, this is a vehicle that's got a lot in a relatively small body. Three in line hob does free up a bit of worktop in front, and you've got a cooker hood as well, which you probably wouldn't expect at this sort of price level. Another feature that you probably wouldn't expect to see is the central locking for the, the three drawers. Now it's just a twist knob, it's not any fancy electrical thing, but they won't just spring open when you're travelling. There's bottle storage in there too, so French thinking about where to keep the red wine. And of course the white wine goes in this nice tall tower fridge, which uh, will accommodate plenty of beer as well. The oven is mounted above the fridge. Now, often we criticise that because if you're one of the shorter chefs of the planet, then it can be a bit high. But with this step in the floor, actually that step becomes a bonus and now the oven is at a sensible height. Dinner's been served, all the pots have been put away. You put the kids to bed in the uh, drop down at the front and it's night night. You just slide a division across, all the way across the vehicle, and mum and dad have got privacy in the back half of the vehicle. And what a bed it is too. This offset island bed arrangement takes up a lot less space in the vehicle than the traditional design where you've got the bed centrally and wardrobes on either side. And yet you've still got access around that side of the bed. You've got a nice little bedside shelf and even a little bit of storage for some reading matter perhaps in there as well. His and hers reading lights, and the washroom's still nice and accessible, even when the division's been pulled across. So you've got a proper ensuite for mum and dad here, and some nice touches. Now, if mum wants to sit on the end of the bed and do her makeup, there's a little cover for the wash basin, nice big mirror, and slide that across, and you've got plenty of room for all your makeup, your shampoos, and so on. And these elasticated holders will keep things in place and stop them rattling en route. Wardrobes there and the toilet and shower in one unit in the corner so it's very good use of space. Now this one's a bit of a personal favourite it's not too big it's well made it's got a lovely feel about the interior everything you expect from a Rapido but just with 
a bit better use of space than a lot of other island bed motorhomes. So a very worthy fixed bed motorhome of the year. Mm -hmm.